Hello guys, my name is Nicholas and in this video tutorial I will show you how to export a character from Softimage to the Unreal Engine 4 using a plugin called Species. The workflow is quite similar to the one for the Unity Engine but some tweaks are needed in order to import the rig into the Unreal Engine. The workflow inside Softimage however it's exactly the same so let's start creating the base mail uh, there we go and let's build the rig for it oh no, sorry forgot one important thing uh, in order to match the scale for the Unreal Engine 4 I noticed that I need to scale my character by 24.1 there we go and uh, I got this result from exporting the uh, the base the base rig from Maya using the animation and rigid toolkit uh, into Softimage using the FBX and this is roughly matching the same proportion and height of the of the exported file so this inside the Unreal Engine it's a kind of standard height uh, character um, uh, let's build as I was saying before the rig and I'm I don't know if it's a if it's a problem related to species or I'm not sure. But once I scale the character at this dimension, the toes are flipping. It's easily f you can fix them easily, but I'm not sure if it's related to the scale value or something else. Because in the other videos that I did, I didn't have this that problem. So let's wait a little bit. I'm going to use the same um, BVH file motion capture animation that I use for the other uh, tutorials and I'm going quickly to show you how to okay it's finish how to set up the motor stuff inside a soft image ah yeah as you can see here this is flipped and we can easily fix it minus 180 same thing here 180 and I usually oops wrong one there we go 180 and I'm going to set those to a neutral pose there we go and I'm going to delete the prop rig and select the anim rig okay and go to motor tag rig and if you watch my previous tutorials this is uh, basically you need to match the geometry, the, the controllers that you have on the rig, uh, on the character, but uh, within species there's a file called hominid anim rig uh, which does it for you. I created another version that is the, I call it updated, which includes the neck, head and the heel as well. And I think I forgot the toes. Okay, but anyway, it's not important right now. Okay, once you did that you go to mockup to rig and in here I need to specify my BVH file that is going to be the backflip and okay I'm not going to show you how to do how to create the BVH file and match each single controller because that is shown in the other two tutorials for UDK and for Unity so I'm just going to load one that's called retargeter that has the all the necessary uh, stuff basically it, it is a file that contains all the necessary information to match the uh, the BVH file with the rig that I have here so let's choose apply and there we go we have the character the animation if I remember correctly runs until frame 130 and if I play the animation it's going a bit slow because I'm recording but yeah he's doing a backflip there we go Okay, now the workflow is a bit different from... it's similar to the uh, Unity export and different from uh, the one for the, for UDK. I'm still using B, uh, FBX in order to export the character to uh, to the Unreal Engine 4, but first of all let's me, let me choose Anim Rig and if you go here select select Child Nodes you can bake the animation 
so let's go to plot all transformation and be sure to check fit plotted values with an f-curve name right now is not that important and let's bake the entire animation of course what you can do if you don't want to do all in, all at once you can export the fbx file with the rig uh, load it into the Unreal Engine 4 then you can uh, create animation and s um, basically export them and import those into the Unreal Engine 4 as animation since now you have the ability to uh, choose what kind of uh, skeletal animation you want to import or basically when you're importing a skeleton a skeletal animation or a skeletal rig you can choose to that to be or a skeletal rig or just an animation so let's go to let's select my rig let's go to export fbx and let's call it this one and here unless you have textures you have to leave everything as it is so let's choose ok takes a bit to export but uh, it might be because of my slow CPU but usually it's a bit faster and now as you can see it's processing all the timeline in order to plot the animation into the rig Okay, I'm going to pause it. As usual, as you can see, the, the animation has been plotted and the export, the FBX has been exported. But as usual, you have some errors due to the implicit geometry. Not so. That is not important. Okay, so now let's jump to the Unreal Engine 4, and I have the blueprint example uh, scene in here. Now, what I'm going to do is to first of all let me copy my exported character in here I'm just placing it right here just as a preference and let me import my rig okay okay the only thing you need to do here mm, the only thing you have to do here okay if you want to import the animation just type in the animation timeline from start to hand and in order to uh, the rig to work properly into the Unreal Engine 4 is because of the way the rig has been uh, is done uh, within species you have to check import mesh in bone hierarchy there we go and of course I forgot you need to, you need to select skeletal mesh but of course you can import the animation as well you'll have a couple of errors or warnings but that is not important since the animation runs fine and the character is exported as it is in soft image okay as you can see here uh, following bones are missing okay okay this is my test one rigged character into the Unreal Engine 4 huh, I forgot to do one thing as you can see here there are some strange geometry inside the um, the character that is because if if I go back into the uh, into soft image uh, species allows you to have by default I think from version 1.5 or 6 I don't remember exactly but you have some a uh, low geometry display basically proxy geometry let me show you by deleting 1 2 and 3 there we go some proxy geometry on the rig itself like if you have this is a this is good if you need to test the animation but you don't want to use your high poly character this is this will basically show you the animation with the proxy geometry um, okay let me go back oops let me go back in here okay okay the animation will still run it's just that the geometry is a bit messed up but let me go to the let me jump to the animation blueprint or the animation tab sorry 
and if I select here the animation sequence you can see that yep the animation is there okay then you can set up once you start to import all your animation you can set up all the animation in different ways but yeah this is what's uh, this is just a test in order to show you how to import a character from soft image into the Unreal Engine 4 so that's it see you soon